We all know that Huawei smartphones are very well known for having the best camera experience ever since. But the question is, is it still the best flagship camera phone right now? Hey guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Finally guys, we are back for another camera review. Today's video is actually pretty exciting because the camera king is back. Yes, me question yun because we don't know yet. I have here right now the Huawei P60 Pro in a Rococo Pearl variant. And Huawei claims na ito guys yung world's first pearl texture design sa isang smartphone. I know, pretty crazy to actually see this type of design on a phone you will be using for every day. But yes, later on, we will talk about this more. <laughs> Of course, ang biggest highlight ng phone na to is yung camera niya, as expected for a Huawei P series. And I do think even after their partnership with Leica ended, Huawei's latest P60 Pro proves that the company still has what it takes to be one of the best when it comes to mobile photography. And I think Huawei wants to offer yung ultimate mobile photography experience with its very own X-Mage technology. And unlike its competitors that are currently going for 200 megapixel sensors, Huawei is taking a different approach by ensuring guys the right advancements for optical, mechanical, and even image processing. Let's be a little bit technical. Ano ba yung meron dito or ano yung camera specs? Itong Huawei P60 Pro at bakit siya maganda. Let's start doon sa malaking camera sensor na nakikita niyo sa gitna which is a 48 megapixels ultra lighting camera. Na of course, merong adjustable aperture that we will be talking about in a while. Sa bandang ibabaw naman ito, nandito yung 13 megapixels ultra wide angle camera. And then below, we got here the 48 megapixels telephoto super macro camera. I also won't forget to mention na yung main camera niya has the capability to zoom up to 200 times. Huawei P60 Pro in terms of camera has the largest aperture among all the flagship devices and not to mention na rin guys, it has a powerful 3.5 times optical zoom dahil doon sa kanyang bagong telephoto lens. In fairness naman, with this 48 megapixels, it is equally as impressive and it can produce 10 times hybrid zoom images with great clarity. Isa pa, kahit na nakazoom pa yan, it also produces well-lit images and hardly visible yung noise especially at night. You can tell na yung AI niya is really working hard to clean up the image. Now, one of my favorite is of course the telephoto macro shooting. If you remember guys, dati, Huawei used to offer the option of an optimized macro mode that flicks between the main and ultra wide cameras. Para of course, ma-obtain yung best focus. Actually, not just Huawei, but almost all the flagship brands. Now, Huawei is using a telephoto camera. It is the combination of high detail capabilities of a typical macro lens with the zooming capabilities of a telephoto lens. Kaya naman yung mga close-up shots natin ngayon has better depth of field, easier framing, and mas better control of natural light. So yes, hindi na natin kailangan na sobrang lapit sa isang object or even a flower or even a pet para lang makuha yung macro shot na inaasam-asam natin. We also get to use yung 3.5 times niya for portrait shots. And in fairness, we are getting some of the best portrait shots na nakita ko. Laking tulong din nung tinatawag ni Huawei na advanced anti-shake sensor rotation when it comes to taking low-light photos. Especially low-light portrait shots natin na nakakita nyo right now. Yung large aperture niya sa main and telephoto camera allows more light into the camera and creates stunning portrait photos with shallow depth of field and low light. So, paano naman yung main camera nitong Huawei P60 Pro? Makikita nyo, very obvious yung laki ng bilog niya. Actually, kakaiba yung camera setup natin ngayon, no? I just wanna say... 
how unique it is compared to other Huawei devices that we've seen in the past. Okay, so yung main camera niya actually has a variable aperture for its 48 megapixels na merong sensor size of 1 over 1.43 inches. And if you've seen yung Mate 50 Pro video natin, similar silang dalawa. The device offers a total of 10 different stops between f1.4 to f4.0. Meaning, this Huawei P60 Pro can make more light intake. And isa pa, ito rin yung pinakamalaking light intake periscope telephoto in the whole industry. To be exact, yung light input niya is 400 188% higher than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So when taking photos, all you need to do is go to the aperture na nasa bandang left and then click nyo lang guys yung parang camera lens na nasa upper right kapag tayo ay naka landscape dito we can adjust the virtual aperture and of course physical aperture and I love that, that the images from the main camera are crispy with tons of detail and accurate color reproduction and specifically mas na appreciate ko yung variable aperture feature niya on the main camera as it gives me more control over depth of field and exposure without touching yung ISO settings natin. Let's also not miss na meron siyang x mage button which allows us to pick between original for a more true-to-life colors. Meron din tayong vivid for a higher color saturation or bright which brings up more details in challenging low light situations. Actually, halos lahat can be accessed from the arrow sa camera menu natin. Aside from X-Mage, dito natin pwedeng i-adjust yung aspect ratio, the flash, we also have uh, filters, assistive grid, and of course, the settings. Actually, hindi lang sa rear camera nag excel yung Huawei P60 Pro, but of course, as well as its front camera. It has 13 megapixels f2.4 aperture, and I appreciate a lot that we get three options when it comes to taking selfies. We got here the one times, which is yung typical focal length. We also got 0.8 times, so medyo mas malayo lang ng konti. And of course, we got here the wide, which is perfect for group shots. I appreciate na hindi lang siya present sa regular photo natin, but as well as sa portrait mode natin. Now, in terms of taking videos, the phone can actually shoot 4K up to 60 FPS para sa kanyang regular wide. We can also use the 4 times and 10 times digital zoom sky na tayo ay naka 4K at 60 FPS. And for the ultra wide, ito ay pwedeng gamitin gamit ang 1080p at 30fps resolution. We also get to choose between different X-Mage buttons guys kahit na tayo ay nagtitake ng videos. And lastly, I'm glad na yung selfie camera niya guys kayang-kaya makapag-take ng videos hanggang 4K resolution. Which is something that we also look forward to kapag very camera focused ang isang flagship device. I won't mention any brand pero most flagship phones right now guys Hanggang 1080p lang ang capability which is a bit disappointing. The results look detailed and yung OIS niya handles minor shakes and movements really well. I really think the Huawei P60 Pro is a great camera flagship phone. You can tell naman din agad-agad from the sample photos that you guys saw earlier. And of course, yung photography-oriented hardware features niya. Not just that, but as well as it's a very premium design. As you can see right now, ayan, medyo may pagka marble-like yung finish niya. Actually, it's not marble, it's pearl. And to be exact, it's what we call a Rococo pearl. Ito talaga yung nagpapa-stand out sa phone na to. Which again, Huawei claims to be the world's first pearl texture design on a smartphone. Itong composite material na to uses natural pearl powder and every P60 Pro Rococo pearl produced guys has its own unique look. Kaya guys, walang pare-parehas na Huawei P60 Pro na Rococo Pearl variant. Iba-iba yung pagkakagawa sa kanya. So yeah, no two phones are alike. So yeah, buti na lang we got here the Rococo Pearl variant. I like it. Actually, very pasok sa aesthetic ko kasi especially now, summer ngayon. And it makes me not wanna put a case on it. Pero may case naman guys na kasama sa box. Actually, we have here the box and hindi na tayo nakapag-unbox kasi nga camera focused yung video natin right now. 
the moment that you guys are watching this video, official na yung Huawei P60 series and meron na rin tayong price. It currently retails for 58,999 pesos for the 8 plus 256 gig memory. Tapos meron din siyang 12 gig plus 512 gig memory for 69,999 pesos. Pre-order period, pre-order freebie. I will be putting down the details all below. So yeah, to officially end yung camera review natin for the Huawei P60 Pro, all I can say is wow, indeed impressive yung camera specifications and of course, real-life camera performance niya. Kung ako tatanungin, sulit siya, especially sa mga very camera-focused ang habol sa isang flagship phone. Especially be it for creativity, for a change of scenery, and of course, for its outstanding camera experience. And in case that you actually decide on buying one, Sa tingin ko, ma-e-enjoy nyo rin siyang gamitin katulad ng na-experience ko. So yeah, that's basically it. Again, it's your tech girl, Mary. And see you on our next video. Bye!